Wow, what a playlist. If you just type in, if you had my love on Spotify, you'll literally get so many good songs come up. All Saints, Pure Shores, If You Had My Love, Jennifer Lopez, Baby One More Time, Jeannie in a Bottle, The Boy Is Mine, uh, Kiss Me Through The Phone, Kiss Me Through The Phone, Six Seven Eight Triple Nine Eight Two One Two. Wow, that's a good playlist that, but I think for now we'll have J-Lo. Got me in the mood for the day honestly i woke up this morning feeling rotten like i'd had the worst night's sleep ever so that's definitely sorted me out bit of jello in the morning maybe that's just what you need sometimes good morning everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and welcome to a brand new video let's just address the elephant in the room which are my wonky jeffrey Dahmers, as i call them like i just feel like i look like him when i've got these on um but i've really got no choice i uh i've run out of contact lenses so if you've been here for the last few weeks then you know the drill i go and get weighed every saturday morning at slimming world with my mum also i need to do a food shop at aldi and i'm also going seeing my little sister same my little sister she's 30 and um, i'm going seeing her new house today so she just moved into a new house with her little girl my niece and goddaughter alice you've probably seen her on my instagram if you follow me on there so i've got her a couple of new home little gifts. I'm going to wrap them up really quickly before I set off to group. And then this video is just going to be a bit of a spend the day with me. I'm, I'm going to a wedding Easter weekend. It's the Thursday of Easter weekend, the 6th. I've ordered eight dresses from ASOS and one from TK. I bought one from TK Maxx as well. Don't really like any of them. One of them is a maybe. But I thought I'd try them all on anyway, see what you guys think. If there's anything that you like, I will leave them all linked then. Um, because obviously eight dresses, that's quite a lot into it. So I may as well try them on and show you what they look like on. Get your opinion. It's so weird when you put on weight and you go up a good couple of dress sizes. It's hard to know what suits your new shape. But ASOS usually comes through for me. But we'll talk about that later anyway. Let's get these prezzies wrapped for my sister. I'll go and get them from the car now and show you what I bought her. Just a couple of nice little new home bits. So... The bits that I got are from Sainsbury's. Um, I can't wrap this up, but I think I'm just going to grab a basket whilst we're out and about today. Um, I picked up this little plant for a... No! That's the milk. And this was on sale in um, Habitat in Sainsbury's, the home section, which is just amazing. It's one of my favourite places to buy homeware from. And they also do really good sales as well. So I can't find the receipt, but I'll just link... Um, the stuff on the website down below. I know that these were £10, which I thought was quite reasonable for two chopping boards. I thought they were really cute. So I'm going to wrap those up because I think that's quite, quite a nice practical gift that you get a two pack and it's from the Sainsbury's home section, that not Habitat. So I'm just going to take that off and then wrap them up like that with the little string at the top. And then I just got a Yankee candle, a white linen and lace one. I think this was £9. Oh yeah, that's nice. And it's white, so it'll go with any of the decor. So I thought that was quite a good buy. And then I just got this new home card. I thought that was really sweet with the little balloons coming out the chimney. That was £2.25 for that. So I'm going to get these wrapped right out of the card um, and then head out to Slimming World to get weighed. And I will let you know what my results are shortly. I'm back from my travels. I've been to weigh in. I've been to Aldi, b &M, Iceland, and I thought it was getting a bit late, so I wanted to get back and see the dog, uh, make sure she's okay before I go back out and go and see my sister's new house. So I picked up this basket from b and Instead of getting a 
a gift bag for £2 that she's going to end up throwing away. And I could get her a basket as part of a present and then put all the, all the little bits and bobs in there. So this was £7 from B&M. It's a seagrass basket with these really cute little twisted handles. I'm not sure where she'll put this. I just thought it would look quite cute all together. So like put her little chopping boards in there. Put her little plant open like that and a candle there. Oh, she'll be made up with that. I know I would be if I got that as the little new home prezi. Slimming World, I lost a pound this week. So I'm nine pounds down altogether and it's my sixth weigh in. So I'm averaging on one to two pounds a week there, aren't I? Quite happy with that though. I haven't written anything down this week and so I've not really stayed on track of what my sins have been. So I actually really didn't know what to expect this week. I was hoping for a loss, but even half a pound I probably would have been quite happy with, even though it's quite slow progress. Yeah, it's there, isn't it? I'm still losing weight, I'm not putting weight on, so it's all positive. Let me know in the comments if you're doing Slimming World what you lost this week or if you lost, maintained or gained. And I'm going to show you a few bits that I've picked up this week. Some food, some other little random bits from B&M and Aldi. I thought I could do sausage and mash this week with these. These are the skinny sausages um, from Aldi. It's half a sin per sausage. So I'll have two of these with some mash and gravy during the week when the weather's a little bit miserable and I want some comfort food. That will be like a really nice low sin meal idea for the week. If you're following my TikTok page, which is the same as my YouTube channel, you'll know that I'm a bit obsessed with these at the minute. And I thought I've got to stock up because I don't know how long they're going to be in Aldi for. I don't see them anywhere else other than Aldi. I've tried the chocolate ones. I've even already tucked into these. Uh, when we got back from shopping, I had one at my mum's with a brew. Four and a half cents for these. The chocolate ones are amazing. If you want, if you want something that actually tastes like a donut, these actually do. I don't think the fibre one brownies really taste like a brownie. I haven't tried the strawberry ones yet. Have any of you tried these and do you like them? Then I got a couple of new um, yoghurts to try because I haven't tried this flavour. These are two and a half sins in Aldi. These are also two and a half sins and these have got like the fruit layer with them. These are passion fruit ones. I have had this one before and it's nice. Um, so I just stocked up on a couple of those. I don't go through the flavoured yoghurts that much I stick to natural yoghurt usually during the week um because I know that that's sin free and then I have them as like a treat at night when I'm watching maths um and I want something sweet after my tea then I got some of these as well these are really really good my mum likes these too so you get four in a pack and the 64 calories a pot which works out at three sins is it three sins or three and a half sins let's have a look Three sins for those and worth it. So good. I thought I would go for some chickpeas this week um, to make a sin-free hummus. Don't know how you make it, but I'm hoping that the main <laughs> the main thing is covered. If I've got to go out and get any other bits, then I will do. Um, but I've got things like garlic and chilli and stuff like that in. If anybody knows a good sin-free hummus recipe, please be leave it linked for me in the comments or let me know where to find it. That would be really, really helpful, thank you. In my last Aldi and B&M haul, I showed this that I got for my mum's my mom's puppy. She's teething at the minute, but Connie keeps trying to nick it off her, so I thought I'd buy Connie her own. It's the £2.50, they're bamboo dog toys, and I'm sure that, yeah, they've got a beef flavouring in them. And Connie's always trying to, like, Connie gets quite bored quite easily, especially when I'm working from home. She wants my attention and things like that, and I can't always give it to her, so, Having something like this is quite good because it just keeps her occupied while she's waiting for a walk. And then my mum got her this. My mum always treats her <laughs> to a new toy. You'd think that she had loads and loads of toys with the things I've been showing recently, but actually she doesn't because she always ends up ripping them to bits. I can see a couple of like decapitated pigs and other furry animals all over the garden that she's taken out there and just murdered. Um, but now she's got herself... What even is that? A raccoon? I don't know. Raccoon? Badger? Raccoon. Do you want it? Okay. <laughs> My battery's about to die. I'm going to come back and do the ASOS try on haul later on today. Um, I'm just going to pop to my sister's now, take a little present round and then I will be back later to do a bit of a try on and show you the dresses that I've ordered from ASOS. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I've actually got, I think, nine dresses in total. But let's just jump into it and start trying the dresses on. I'll go with the TK Maxx one first. I just 
went in there with my friend who I'm going to the wedding with uh, and I saw this dress. So I think it's just something that I'd feel dead comfortable in. I got this in a size small. It was the only size that they had and the price was £29.99. Uh, so this is the first one on. So whilst I'm trying these on, I've just like taken off my underwear. As you know, when you try anything on, you need the right bra, you need the right underwear and things like that. But for the purpose of this, just because it's quick and easy, I thought I'd just <laughs> leave it off. Um, I said I'm pear shaped, I've got small boobs, um, but I'm conscious of it everywhere on my body at the minute. My arms, my stomach, my legs, probably the most. Um, anything that's like um, got a sleeve like this on it is quite flattering. Anything that's kind of low and shows my collarbone is quite flattering on me because I've got quite um, narrow shoulders. So having these sleeves kind of balance me out a little bit with my bottom half, but I really do like this dress. Just don't know whether it washes me out a little bit, my skin tone, you know, this colour pink. Um, but it's really, it's really nice and definitely wearing appropriate, I think. It would even be nice for like a Christmas or something. So I think for 30 quid, I'm going to keep this anyway, because I think when I've lost a bit more weight, even if I don't wear it to the wedding, I will like this and wear it for something else, definitely. So this next dress is from a brand called Hope and Ivy. This was the one that I was banking on wearing. This is what it looks like. It's got the frill sleeve. It just looked a bit grandma-esque on me. Um, I, I didn't even really like the floral print on it when it got here. And I suit blue, but that kind of blue, that dark blue isn't my colour. I suit the more like pastel colours. That one will be going back. Uh, that was in a size 10, that blue one, by the way. This one, again, I'm not going to be able to show you it on, but as soon as I opened it out of the packet, I didn't like the colour green. On camera, it looks like a really stunning pale green, but in real life, it's it's got this sort of illuminous green in the pattern, and that comes out on the frill detail as well. I do think, even though you can't see this one on me, it's helpful to see how the colours pick up on the camera and everything in comparison to just a picture on the website so I will leave this linked anywhere like I will try this one on oh I absolutely love this and it reminds me of a dress that I bought last year and sold on vintage straight after wearing it um, and I wish I'd have kept it because I would have been wearing that for this wedding um, it was just a stunning dress and I thought but I thought I don't think I'll have a chance to wear it again and then lo and behold I, I've actually messaged the girl that I sold it to asking if she'd resell it back to me but she said no because she's wearing it it's gone off the website now. Um, it's on my Instagram though. Oh, it was so gorgeous, that dress. And this is very, very similar. Now, I just think that would look stunning at a wedding. And when I put that dress up to this one, I'm thinking this is just isn't doing much. <laughs> but when I put this on the sleeves, just don't look quite right on me. I'll try it on and show you what I mean. Just sit this up. I love this colour on me. I think this is definitely my colour. Um, and that's why I loved the other dress so much because it was pretty much exactly the same colour. But... I just think it's it's just it clings to my stomach um and i could definitely wear some sucking knickers like i've not got the right underwear on for this dress at all but i can't say i feel 100 percent comfortable in it let me know what you think um i just think i look a little bit i just i don't think i look comfortable in this dress and i think when you feel comfy in something it shows like it's quite tight around the bottom half of me clings to my stomach though it's not right is it and I think if I went up in a bigger size, because this is a 10, if I went up to a 12 in this, I think then it would look too baggy around here. Cause, but yeah, I just don't think it's, for me, this dress. I don't think I suit anything that stops there on my arms. I love the leg split on it because it's quite subtle. At least you can see what it looks like on a 4 foot 11. Um, on a 4 foot 11 pear shaped frame. Okay, this one is stunning and it was definitely a contender, obviously, that the bra and it says it's cream on ASOS. It's from a brand called Nobody's Child. They've got their own website and everything. And they've got loads of really nice wedding guest dresses on there. This one, as much as I love the cut of it here, and I think that's flattering on me, it's way too exposed at the back. Like I said, it says that it's cream, but it's definitely yellow. It's like a very, very pale yellow with this gorgeous floral detail on it. So perfect for a wedding. Um, I'm actually at a summer wedding in June. So I think... I might keep this and hope that I'll have a better another stone off by then so I'll feel much more confident in this because I love it. It's got like a split up the side but it only comes up to like where your knee is and it doesn't show your full leg so it's like really wedding appropriate and quite um, formal still. 
And let me know though what you think. Is this too light for a wedding? Because I know a lot of people are like don't wear anything light. But I think if it's got like a print on it like this, like a very floral print, you can get away with it. Um, so this one is nice. It's a little bit too big around here. But it's much more flattering on my arms. As you can see, it hits a better place on my arms. And I feel like I would, as much as I would feel comfortable in this dress, I just think it's a bit nothing here. Um, I feel excited about wearing this. I don't think it particularly suits me. What do you think? Um, it hits such a nice place. It hits such a nice place on my legs. This is a petite one, and this is from Hulk and Ivy again. Um, when I saw this on the website, I wasn't excited about it, but it was one of those things where I was getting to a point where I was just a bit fed up. I don't think that it's anything special. Had this been this style, but in a different colour, then I think I would have liked it more. Say it would have been in sort of green, that nice, nice pale mint green. I think I would have preferred that. This one, this next one was so expensive and a bit of a wild card. Like I actually thought when I ordered it, I'm not going to like that. But sometimes I surprise myself with some things that I try on. It's got this stunning embroidered detail on it, but the colour completely washes my skin out. This is actually called a bridesmaid dress on ASOS, but I think a lot of the long dresses are, so I don't discount them. I know what the brides, I know the co the bridesmaid colours are like an olive green, so they're definitely not wearing this. <laughs> I won't be turning up looking like a bridesmaid. It, it was also a little bit too long on me as well. This is another one that I bought that I won't be trying on because it's a really, really nice colour. I will put a picture on of what that one looks like on, and hopefully it's handy being able to see sort of what it picks up like on camera. Um, last but not least, I've got this one. This was expensive, but I had 25% discount. Um, I always wait for the discounts to come on and I get emails when they do come on as well. Black, I know, is that a bit morbid for a wedding? But I'm thinking with really nice spring, dewy looking makeup and because my hair's blonde and because um, it's got these polka dots on it, I think I'd be able to get away with it for a wedding. You can make it as tight as you want around your neck. I think that's pretty. And then we've got this tie up here. I feel like this is a dress that you could have in your wardrobe for years and years. And um, I wouldn't have my eyes heavy with this dress for a spring summer wedding. I'd have my makeup either really peachy or pink. Your red lips, like a statement lip, but like my eyes not um, heavy at all or smoky. It's got this sheer back to it, which means it's really forgiving. You don't get any sort of flabby overhang or anything on your back. It's got a little side split, um, but nothing too drastic. And your whole leg doesn't come out. It just sort of like gives a little peep of your leg. And like I said, I'm really conscious of my legs, um, especially after being diagnosed with lipedema earlier on this year, um, as well as lymphedema. Like it's not ideal. I'm never gonna have skinny legs ever in my life. <laughs> You've got to just accentuate the best bits of you, accept that everybody's different um, and everybody's different shapes and sizes and the things that you're really insecure about, most people don't notice because they've got their own insecurities that they're concentrating on. I don't know, like sometimes I really have to put things like that into perspective and think, you know, I'm so lucky that I'm not going to this wedding with the same mindset that I had for a wedding I was at five years ago where I was starting chemo and, and I was a bridesmaid and I was going to be losing my hair and I was worried about having no hair walking down the aisle. Like I'm not worried about things like that. So superficial stuff doesn't matter, does it, in the grand scheme of things. What you look like doesn't either. So yeah, that's my little um, lecture for today. But yeah, I love this dress. I'm going to go and see what Tom thinks now. Okay, so Tom likes this dress. And I found out as well that his suit is charcoal and I think it's black tie. So I think he's got a black tie. So I will match him quite nice, I think. Do you like this one? Let me know in the comments um, what you're thinking or if you prefer one of the other dresses. But I think this is the one I'm going to keep. It was £99, um, but with 25% off it worked out about £75, £74. Um, Tommy's home from Dublin now. He's just made me a cup of tea in my favourite mug that has all my... Favourite, luckily that didn't go on any of the dresses, that has all my faves on it. So there's Connie when she was a baby with my builder bear, which was the first thing that Tom bought me, I think, when we got together 12, 13 years ago now. Um, that's Tom on holiday on his 30th birthday. <laughs> I'm sure he got me this for my birthday one year. 
and then that's baby Eric when he was first born. That brings me to the end of this video everyone, thank you so much for watching, I'm really happy with my one pound weight loss this week, uh, it's definitely coming off slowly, but it's coming off and that's all that matters, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video everyone and I will see you in my next one, bye!